Hello, uh, my name is Sissy Gray. I am Black River Technical College's Executive Director of Institutional Effectiveness. I oversee uh, initiatives related to uh, assessment, strategic planning, and accreditation at the college. Uh, and I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of, of assessment and ass assessment uh, expectations for concurrent instructors. Um, we're going to do this in two parts. In this particular recording, I'm going to go through an assessment basic training PowerPoint. Those of you who have been concurrent instructors for some time will probably recognize this, this PowerPoint. In the second recording, I'm going to show you how to access some of BRTC's uh, um, assessment-related documents and, and links and, and uh, guideline uh, handbooks and those types of things. So first, we're going to go through this PowerPoint, uh, and the first slide uh, deals with state concurrent education requirements and guidelines. So a lot of the expectations that, that uh, Black River has for faculty, uh, including concurrent faculty, are not uh, just, just based on the whims of uh, BRTC. In fact, they are the state or even federal requirements. So uh, the state of Arkansas requires that concurrent instructors use the approved college course syllabus. So you have to use the same syllabus as your um, uh, faculty uh, counterparts on, on our campus. Um, you have to also use the same textbook or at least a textbook that aligns with the content and course learning outcomes that are approved by the college. Third, you have to adopt the same learning outcomes and assignments as those developed for those uh, course learning outcomes. Uh, that are offered on the college campus. There are some limited exceptions and your uh, faculty liaison can help you determine where an exception may be allowed. Um, you, finally, you have to use the same course grading and awarding standards as those on the, the college campus. Okay. So what is assessment? Uh, the primary purpose of assessment is to inform, improve, and demonstrate the quality of student learning, uh, student services, and college operations. Uh, so for the purposes of, of this training, we're focusing on, of course, the assessment of student learning. So academic assessment begins and ends with uh, student learning outcomes. Those learning outcomes describe the knowledge and skills that students should acquire as the result of completing a, a course or a program or curriculum. In this case, we'll focus on courses. Each BRTC course and program have faculty created, institutionally adopted learning outcomes. Those outcomes cannot be changed unless they go through a formal curriculum uh, approval process. Uh, in addition, learning outcomes can, uh, can be changed, but of course we're, uh, we're going through that formal proposal uh, process where uh, a faculty member requests uh, certain changes and they must be submitted to and approved by our curriculum committee. Uh, in, uh, in the second recording that we're going to do, I will show you where you can find those uh, course approved outcomes. And, and, and then, of course, your faculty liaison is an excellent resource for obtaining those, those outcomes that you will need to include. Finally, uh, assessment represents a best practice for institutions. It, it helps, uh, helps us keep focus on continuous improvement. Uh, so this is why assessment is a requirement by both the state, um, and represented by the Arkansas Division of Higher Ed, and the Higher Learning Commission, our uh, federal uh, accreditor. Okay. At this point, some of you may be wondering what is the difference between uh, assessment and grading. Uh, so they aren't the same. Uh, grades often are an indirect measurement of course and program learning outcomes. Uh, in other words, they don't directly assess uh, those are learning outcomes as they are stated. Um, if you think about it, grading is influenced by a number of different criteria. You may deduct points if, a, if an assignment is turned in late. Um, you may have some formatting guidelines that you uh, provide some points for. Uh, if you may give points uh, for following instructions. Uh, there be maybe multiple things you're assessing. Maybe you've asked multiple questions in an essay and, and you're giving points uh, for each of the questions you've asked. So uh, again, grading is influenced by uh, a combination of criteria. Uh, you're required to directly assess the course learning account, uh, outcomes uh, in your courses according to the college's assessment schedule. And typically this involves creating a specific assignment or activity, whether it be a graded or ungraded activity, uh, for students to complete that directly aligns with that outcome. So your assessment uh, and rating of the, the um, 
the student's ability uh, to demonstrate an outcome may very well be different from the grade you assign uh, based on the assignment or activity that you've given. And uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, assessments, uh, to reiterate, assessment strictly involves the student's ability to demonstrate meeting an individual learning outcome regardless of how you're grading on it. At, at Black River Technical College, we have three levels of academic assessment. There's course assessment, program assessment, and general education assessment. For those of you that taught uh, during uh, this, this previous academic year, uh, you're well versed in the general education assessment. Moving into uh, the upcoming academic year, we will be focusing on course assessment again. So uh, what are course outcomes? Course outcomes represent the knowledge and skills students should acquire as the result of successfully completing a course. Most courses have three to five outcomes and um, BRTC inst adopts those institutionally. Uh, all outcomes must be assessed during the assessment of uh, the semesters that uh, uh, the institution is focusing on course assessment. And again, that will be both the fall and, and uh, spring semesters in the upcoming academic year. So how are course outcomes measured and documented? Although learning outcomes are adopted institutionally, assessment activities are not. So each instructor can determine how he or she is going to assess course outcomes. Now, for concurrent instructors, you need to do this in consultation or collaboration with your uh, faculty mentor. Uh, you need to identify at least one direct assessment uh, to complete for each outcome. Faculty must uh, set a benchmark or a goal for each outcome, and their data must determine whether the benchmark is met. You will document this information in a clatter. I will show that form to you in the next recording. And uh, assessment data is submitted electronically at the end of the semester using the electronic clatter, and I will show you where that link is uh, in the next recording. So after uh, all of the uh, clatters have been submitted, uh, I will compose a report uh, for each instructor, uh, summarizing, uh, it will give back to you the information that you submitted to me through the um, electronic clatter, and then I, a report of compliance will also be sent to each uh, faculty member's dean and the VP of Academic Affairs. In your case, that report will also go to uh, Ms. Dorinda Kersey. Uh, for the sake of time, we're going to skip over gen ed outcomes. Uh, we, we, of course, aren't going to be focusing on that for the upcoming year, so it is not particularly relevant for this, this training. Uh, so <clears throat> this is a, a bit of a reiteration, but what to do with assessment results, <clears throat> you have to record them. Uh, ideally, we want you to uh, have a kind of a general reflection on them, uh, remembering the ultimate goal is continuous improvement. So what can you do next time you teach this course that could potentially improve the course, uh, improve your assessment results? Is there anything that you don't want to do again? Um, those kinds of things. And be sure that you submit the appropriate forms. In this case, uh, or the case of course assessment, the electronic clatter for every course that, you're, that you teach for Black River. All right, there are some assessment resources that I'm going, and I'll show you how to access each one of these uh, in the next recording. Uh, there are uh, recorded trainings. Uh, this one in particular will be placed on the portal. Uh, templates uh, for completing uh, various ass assessment activities, including the, the paper version or word version of the clatter. Uh, I'll show you where those are at. Uh, and uh, two important documents, the assessment guidebook, it, it outlines in, in narrative everything that I'm talking to you about, and then the curriculum manual, and that, that's important if you would like to work with your faculty uh, liaison on changing any outcomes or making any proposals to, to Black River regarding outcomes or um, other related processes. All right. At this time, I'm going to uh, give you a quick example of what a, what a course outcome would look like, might look like, and how you might assess that and, um, and kind of walk you through that process. So before I was uh, in, in administration, I was a, a, an instructor. I taught um, psychology courses for Black River. And uh, so Intro to Psychology was a, a course that I, I taught uh, many, many times. And one of the outcomes in Intro to Psychology is 
uh, to display a familiar familiarity uh, with uh, the the theories and theorists that have been uh, seminal to the to the discipline. So uh, there are a number of ways that I could assess this. I could have my students write an essay uh, about uh, a, a variety of theorists. I could give a quiz over uh, specific to the to the theories and theorists. I would not need any other of uh, questions on that quiz. Remember, your assessment should be specific just to the outcome itself. Um, so, so there are a wide variety of ways that you could assess that. Uh, it could be graded. I could record that, that as a grade. It can be an ungraded activity. That is up to you. Um, it could be, uh, I could have an end of the year assess, uh, like a final project in lieu of a final exam where uh, where students would write a, a fairly large research paper over uh, the theories. Now, when I uh, submit my assessment ratings, I probably would want to pull out, uh, there's no, I would definitely want to pull out just how the student performed on the outcome. So on the, the displaying their familiarity with, with the, uh, theories and theorists, and, and I would not include uh, the criteria for my grading that may be, or may be a link. Maybe I set a 1500 word requirement or formatting of APA style. May, you know, I wouldn't include any of those. None of those are, are related or consequential to the student's ability to display the familiarity uh, with, with the uh, uh, theories and theorists. Um, so again, uh, I'm trying to uh, keep this short, uh, but, but give you uh, somewhat of a tangible example uh, for your particular disciplines. I uh, encourage you to visit with your faculty liaisons, if you haven't already, uh, about what they do uh, for each of the outcomes in, that are set for the courses that you're teaching. Uh, I'm always available um, by email, uh, sometimes by phone, depending how, how I'm in and out of the office. Uh, but please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. All right, thank you.